Jack Kennedy, congratulations. The 2019 Dickies British Supersport champion, second consecutive year. You said going into the weekend you wasn't going to play it safe, and it definitely didn't look like you did that in that race. Talk us through it and how it feels to be a, t a championship winner for the second consecutive year. It feels uh, amazing. It doesn't really feel like it's sunk in yet. It's a bit... Uh doesn't feel real. Um, like as, as I said, I wasn't going out to play it safe. We, we've topped every session the weekend. We qualified on pole position. Um, I wanted to add another watch to my collection. And uh, I wasn't going out there to uh, settle for points or do anything like that because sometimes when you do that, you, that's when you start making mistakes. When you start riding at like 95%, uh, strange things happen or you're around people you haven't been around before. So I just wanted to get out, get out there, get out the front. And uh, I knew I could set a good enough rhythm to try and break my teammate. And uh, he kept me honest for the first few laps, but we started to break him then just as the tyres started to wear out. So uh, yeah, it was a, a great race. And a uh, big thanks to Colin Appleyard McAdam giving me a great bike as usual. And we look forward to it tomorrow. And there's still three races left of the championship. Do you feel like that's a bit of a weight lifted now, knowing that you can go into the races as champion still? Yeah, massive weight lifted, especially when you see the forecast for tomorrow and it's possible rain and it could be a cold, uh, wet day at this track can be quite uh, slippy. So I wanted to get it out of the way today so we've no pressure tomorrow and we can just go out and enjoy ourselves tomorrow. Well, try and enjoy ourselves in the rain. But uh, yeah, uh, massive weight lift off shoulders. Really happy to get it done so early and I can just uh, enjoy the last few rounds now with no pressure.